Dad digs giant hole in his garden after getting drunk with pals and builds a 42 sq feet swimming pool and sauna to cover it up. A boozed up dad was forced to get creative after getting drunk and digging a massive hole in his back garden at 3 am with pals for a laugh by turning it into a swimming pool. Andrew Ellery, from Cardiff, Wales. Found himself in hot water with wife Stella after things got out of hand while he was having a few beers with his mates. Andrew Ellery, from Cardiff, Wales, had his mates round for a few beers when they decided to dig a giant hole to his wife Stella's horror the next morning. But the 59 year old, who admitted his late night antics could have been a subconscious desire for a pool promised to make things right by continuing to dig. And within one week Andrew had a 10 feet deep pool in his garden that cost just 300 pounds. A sauna was then added to the setup made using tiles and wood found in skips. Andrew said, me and my mates had a drunken night and we dug a hole around the back of my house. We were only supposed to be having a few beers. When they all woke up the next day, they didn't even say sorry we all just laughed and thought it was hilarious. Rather than fill in the eye sore, the 59-year-old carried on with his bizarre mission and created a 10 feet deep pool. Within a week Andrew had a swimming pool in his back garden that cost just 300 pounds. I woke up the next morning with my garden full of earth so I had to use some old blocks to build the pool. My wife Stella loves it now, however when she first saw the huge hole in the garden she wasn't too pleased. She came downstairs and said what have you done? At first, she just shouted at me to get rid of all the muck, but then she realized what I was doing. It always wanted pool and it had obviously been in the back of my mind that night. It wanted one for a long time. Andrew had to work at speed to stay in his wife's good books. Andrew worked quickly and managed to finish the extreme DIY within a week without any help. He said, I worked on the pool after work mostly and it took me about a week to complete on my own. It's about 10 feet deep, 7 feet long and 6 feet wide, but I'm actually planning on extending it. In the next year LLL put in heaters and filters. It's a pain to clean though I guess it's just one of those things. The dad of three's dog surveys the work as Andrew desperately tries to right his wrong. Andrew managed to complete all the work in just 7 days. In total, the pool has cost about 300 pounds from start to finish. The cement was the priciest part of it. I tried to get everything as cheap as possible. That's part of the fun of it. It may only be small it takes me 7 strokes to do a length but it's okay to keep fit if you just keep kicking your legs. The pool, built in 2015, has attracted a lot of attention on the former council estate and he loves to share it with his friends and family. The dad can now relax in his sauna, built using tiles and wood found in skips. Andrew's sauna is his pride and joy and the former council house has become well known on the street. Andrew said. There's only three of us at the house so it's just big enough. The grandkids love playing in it too. I'm always in the pool and so is my son. I have five grandkids and they're in it all the time. The younger ones actually learn to swim in their thin 11, 7 and 5 and the others are 14 and 4. I go in it quite a lot after work. I love going in the sauna then jumping straight into the pool to cool off. I don't mind the cold I've worked outside all my life. 
When you come from the sauna and jump straight in the cold water, that's when you reap the benefit from it. Andrew and Stella are delighted with their new luxurious garden. It'll fit four people comfortably. That's my pride and joy. I used wood from skips and if I saw something I could use, it'd knock on the doors and ask if I could take it. Then I spent 200 pounds on timber and went to Sheffield for a 400 pounds heater and water bucket. The house itself isn't big we have three bedrooms and it's a former council house, but we have become quite famous on the street. Neighbors and our grandkids friends always knock on the door wanting to have a look.